All right, we're going to start the Town of Sangerville uh, special select board meeting. It's Friday, June 10th, 2022. It's 2 minutes to 12. We'll start with the Pledge of Allegiance. Pledge of Allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. <clears throat> and uh, major, uh, the, the purpose of this meeting is uh, We've been working on road project. Chris has been putting together some numbers for us, and so that's that's what we're here for. What do you got? Uh, probably enough to scare you. Well, <laughs> we've been scared before. <laughs> yeah. Uh, where do you want to start? Uh, if Same you could kind of explain, yeah, what your Okay. What you're describing, and then we'll get to the dollars and cents of it. I think. All right. Basically, changing out some of the plastic culverts that are junk, or all of them. Uh, there's two that weren't dug up last year that I haven't. Well, one of them I've looked at, and it's squished a little bit, but it's been there for a long time. The other one I haven't crawled into it yet, but. Basically, to replace the ones that are junk and put a two-footer in, those be about $3,350 a piece. That's with the pipe. What's there now, Chris? 18-inch uh, plastic. And what, what size did you say? 30? 24. Oh, 24. You want to go 24-inch well? Then eliminate basically every other. Uh, okay. Yeah. But when you say 24, are you going to say plastic? What are you talking? Concrete. Concrete. Okay. Could I ask something about the plastic? Sure. Uh, you're talking about down here in the, on the McNaughton Road? No. So as well. Yeah. Yeah, well, we replaced them plastics a couple times now. And we're in the water table and the frost table, too. Wouldn't you think it would be wise if we put the steel in and have a hole and it, you know, the frost and then plastic to look in them and doing this and that? Right, I'll, I'll go with concrete. Mm -hmm. Concrete's even stronger than steel. Oh, yeah, but, you know, I, I don't know about... That's what he's talking, that's, that's what, what he's what we're putting doing. That's what I'm pricing out much. He's talking concrete right now. plastic one. Oh, I thought he said plastic. No, no, no. no. We're pulling plastic. <clears throat> So that's a, a, a round one? Or? Round. Yeah. That's like three inches thick with steel reinforcement inside it. The uh, collars come together? How they come yeah, together? Yeah, they got a belt end on them. I've been looking, I'm, since you've told us about them, I noticed when I'm on the Guilford Road, some of them have the bell end, you know, out, out yeah. so you can see. You're like, oh, okay, that's yeah. what he's talking about. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> and, uh, but see, again, you know, you're moving. Is your collar going to stay together, you think? I've used them before, and they have. That's what yeah. the state uses. And, and do they, Chris, is it just a pressure pressure uh, um, connection? I mean, there's no gasket or, or, or collar or anything like that. I can't remember if the ones I used before had a rubber gasket. On I was them. thinking there's a gasket yeah. inside of them. Yeah. And the female. Yeah. Right. Oh, okay. That I would see. make yeah. sense. Yep. Yeah. Yep. That's Which would be a nice fit. I mean, these are all metric specs, but oh yeah, it would be a twelve inch. But that's basically the same idea. What they would look like? Yeah, eight feet long. And so, how many? We're going to reduce the total number of culverts. We're going to expand them to twenty-four. So, what would be the total? The new number of culverts? Be putting in three 24 inch ones and eliminating one, two, three. Yeah, eliminating three 18 inch ones. And there was one eliminated last year also. Mm -hmm. But I don't know what you guys thought, but on that one, I'd at least dig it back out and take the gravel out of the bottom of it and put clay back in to match what the rest of the road is to eliminate a 
Frosty. That's your call. My that's, opinion. Yeah, if, if we just that's, before we throw that pavement down, I, we want I you to do the best you can. Whatever your yeah. view is, is the best way to do it. So otherwise, you've got your ditch mm -hmm. and there's gravel on the bottom of it that's wicking that water through it still. So it's either going to heave or drop. If it's at least clay, it's more. I, I think our opinion would be base. you do what the best you can with what you're working with out there. Yeah, so, to make it work. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's I mean, the ones that we take out and fill that back up with something as close to the roadbed, so we don't have them same type, like, same type material. Right. Yeah. So the amount that speed dropped a little, you were saying? The kind? Oh. Very little, because you'd have to go halfway to Santa Pond across. Grathams would block. Yeah, it drops. I don't know how much it drops there, but right. need to. I've talked to Ryan, and he's receptible about going out there and cleaning them out to get the ponds away from the road. Yeah. Yep. You know, it'd take a few trees and go out there and just clean it right out, so you've got. So the water goes away. Twenty years before it would soak back in. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. And all the ditches you better do too. Huh? You'd have to. That west side. Yeah, yeah. Especially By Irvin's down through there. Basically from, yeah, per se, Irvin's driveway back down. Do you check on the one that heads down the hill before you get to the brook? Back up above Ellis's. Oh, I don't know his name, the house right there. What do you mean right after Irvin's driveway, Butch? No, down further there, where you go down the hill, down below your place. And go oh, by Bob Brown's. Just before you go down that steep hill. Yeah, that's Bob's Brown. place. Bob now, Brown. Have you looked at that one? I haven't. It's, it's gone. It's bad. Why well, <laughs> comes each of it? Is that right? Yeah, no, I'm not surprised. It's probably plugged up. So you're going to do them all? Well, that's up to them. Yes. Mm -hmm. If, if, but if that one, I know gets ground up, then that would be addressed. It needs to be, yeah. like you said, put a good heavy one in there. Right. Is that the one, but Butch, is that the one by Bob Brown's driveway? Is that the one you right, think? Right, right. That's not that old, is it? No, but it was plastic in it. Okay. okay. Bob thinks it's lead. something in it, you can't see through it. Bob thinks it's lead there. I think it come apart, and if you're going to hot top it, yeah. we want to do it as good as we can. Because we, we were brainstorming, well, gee, would it be possible to get rid of that one and put in a driveway culvert? And Bob didn't think that was going to be possible. No, because then you got the storm wall and all the trees right next to the road. Well, Definitely. you don't think you can get across the driveway because he says it's ledge right there anyway. Yeah. Because it's basement well, level. Yeah, that's, that's, yep. Yeah, yep. Yep. this is where ledge is. Yep. How many have you got now? <clears throat> this is just on that section from Anderson Road back. Right. To the north end. Right. But Melvin down, I think it was seven. Yeah. And there's one on way down by the brook. Yep. Right. That would be eight. And then the one before Dale's house. I don't know. I'll get those up this way. They're not plastic. And too. There's, there's two more to the north. Okay. That, that one is squished some, and the other one I haven't crawled in. Right there. If they're the plastic, we ought to take them out anyway, right? If you're going to hop top that. If they're collapsing. My yeah, opinion. if, if they're failing at all, we don't want to leave them, whether they're plastic or metal. Right. We're going to put new and asphalt. And if they're ne necessary. Yeah, so what was you, you, st I, you, back and forth, you said something about the one by my house. I heard that. In my opinion, I'd eliminate it. Put a little material in to help push the water across Jerry's pasture. That might be a good thing, trying to use cement ones, and they got the weight. Can you do without that one then? All I'm going to say is, my lawn gets three feet of water I was every say, spring, yeah. And but I don't have a culvert putting it across the road. No, you just it just goes away. It goes away. So, so take that one out, buddy. I would assume that that would be similar. If you, you know, worst case scenario, you'd get a little water there in the spring, and it would go away. Put a little material in to push it away from the road yep. surface. So you're gonna hot top from the brook up the road. Yep. Yep. All the way to, to the all the way to twenty three. Yeah, good. I mean, if we have the money, that's the. But it will be done eventually. But you won't do it this year. We may. May okay. Yeah. Spend all the money. Well, in getting it done, I mean, we get the work done. A couple sections. Yeah. And then if if we need more money and we have time, in other words, season, we'd have a special if we had to to get it done. I mean, that road's been a mess for quite a while. I'd love to see that at least in Binder this year. 
Yeah, I agree. With, I mean, to me, that's kind of minimum. I mean, that's what I. That's my hope if we can get there. Yeah. So. <clears throat> so with everything going on, my other question for you, Chris, and I'm hoping that have you reached out to them yet and seen about availability of concrete culverts? Basically, they have them per se in stock. Okay, because so, I mean, just like everything else right now, trying to buy things isn't always that easy. So I just, as long yeah. as you found that out, that makes me feel better. Where are they coming from? New Brunswick, St. John. Have mm -hmm. you purchased steel? Yep. I called on Paris Farmers Union, and a two foot steel was with a collar. The 40 feet was going to run you a little over $2,700. 2500 for steel? 27 27 Just to buy it. How much for the cement? $30 a foot. Said he sold. So about $1,200. It seems like a steal. You saved 500 Yeah. Right? No. No. You saved, you saved. You saved. 500 more. Oh. No. No, no. It's like half. Yeah, Concrete yeah. is about half price of steel right now. Yeah. Well, and, and, and you think it will probably perform better? They claim it's a 100-year product. Wow. I'd be happy with half of that. Is, I mean, I've got a stack of stuff. I'd be there. happy with a quarter at this point. <laughs> 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 would be good. All right, so. You look at I-95. That's what I-95 was built with in the 60s. Mm -hmm. And the worst thing I've seen anytime I've been working around the interstate with power was the frost would grab the outer ends and you know, pull them towards the ditches. But those are on the great big pieces, and the state's gone in and just dug it out and slid them back together. But how do, what about count like salt? How do, how's concrete going to hold up to the salt? It takes a while, but it will that's, deteriorate. But that's yeah. It's better than all the state bridges to put in straight calcium on. Right. When I mean, you figure for the percentage we're putting on for heavily diluted. Well, I mean, like we, I mean. We're kind of joking, but if we could get 20 years out of them, we'd be very happy. Mm -hmm. yeah. I'll take out of two inches. Uh, the two footers are right around three inches. So you got six inches, you're going to lose six inches of cover. Right, but we're also going to build it up a foot and change. That's why I was asking about the outlets a little further to cars on to, you know, mm -hmm. what you're going to lose there. So you've got, you also got some numbers on this building up. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> I knew that wasn't going to be true. <laughs> well, I mean, six inches closer to the surface. Well, no, he's he's got more coming here. We're talking about some other, some other things as well. Right. Your plastic pipe has already got at least two inches. On each side. On each side. So we're only, yeah. right. you know, in theory, it's only about two inches more. Yeah. Maybe. And Chris, I know that this is a 12 inch. Um, Until you flatten the plastic. But the, sorry, the thickness of the concrete for a larger is still the same. The it, thickness of the it's walls. It's at least that thick. Yeah, if so this is two inches on this schematic. Yeah, uh, Howard's got a couple, two foot as it got damaged on a job he's doing. And those was like three inches. Oh, okay, so. but those are two footers. Yeah. And we're talking about two footers. Two footers. Oh, yeah. okay. And then we put in a couple 18s back up by. Mm -hmm. Just below Calvin Ames is mm -hmm. the top of the hill. There's another one right there at the bottom of Low Alice's and another one back by the... Do you kind of increase the size on it? Some of them, yes. So you're going to lose. You have to dig down. We're going to go foot over the top? So well, yeah, we're raising the road. Okay. Those are already in a spot that's deep enough to put a two-footer in. Without doing anything. We never had any trouble with them on that road, have we, with them overflowing? But we're going no. to eliminate some, Butch. We're going to eliminate. Oh, so I see. Then you're going to. Right. All We've been close. All together, I mean, there'll be four that are eliminated. Right. Because one was taken out last year. Yeah. yeah but I mean, some of them are 150 feet apart. Right. Right. Mm -hmm. right. So that makes sense. Right. But at that on them, if somebody talked to the landowners, where well, you're going to change them, just them two or three, they would let you, you know, do a little. Right. Now, if you went another 30, 40 feet, you'd probably gain that amount back. That's right. what I'm saying. 
I think two of them will be on Ryan. I've already talked to him and he seemed okay with that. All you gotta do is touch the brush down there and down the right. x-ray and make you see if you can gain another three, four inches. Right. And some of them need to be cleaned anyway, right? They all do. Because they, they've gone just a little bit to stop. And a bunch of them, the yeah. materials yeah, washed around them and pushed out. filled in. Sounds good. So basically, removing, taking three more out and replacing the other three with two footers and then going up above and doing the other two with 18s and some ditch wear, right around 25000 for that. And that includes the price of the pipe. Okay, but that does, does that include the material to raise the road to 12 inches? No. Mm -hmm. No, okay. So that was 25000 Yep. Yeah, Didn't 25, really ditch it. That include all the material? Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Are you going to need any much rock? On the end, you should rock the end. Right, that included the okay. bigger riprap around the end. Yep, sharp riprap. Yeah, yes. correct riprap. Angular rock. Mm -hmm. Yep. Right. Um, and that is reusing some of the good gravel off the top. Because, mm -hmm. you know, you bought it once, you don't need to throw it away and buy totally it. Totally agree. Yeah. Again, your call. And provided it can be dug out clean. Yep. Some of it will be contaminated on each side of the pipe and that'll go somewhere. But then hauling in some clay like material. And that's the thing with the concrete, you can put so called native soils right back over the pipe, up to the top of it, and taper your gravel. You don't have to put this crushed stone and your perfect gravels around it. Because you get a pipe that will support the, will right. already support the load, whereas right. the other way you have to go. According to the paperwork here, it says 95% of your strength in a plastic pipe comes from the material around it. Makes total sense, mm -hmm. correct. 95% mm -hmm. yep. mm -hmm. of your strength of the concrete ones is the concrete pipe. Mm -hmm. You could drive over it with oh. nothing. Yeah. <laughs> you could put that two footer in with a foot of material. It'd be okay. It'd be all right. Yeah. You get the flat ones too, like they did up on the box ones. Yeah. Oh, well, you can. I, mean, I think American makes them. I don't know. I just wanted them. And somebody over at uh, Madison is making like a box one. They're not a full box. They're like a TP or a, or a half round mm -hmm. that they're using. I've boards. seen that. Yeah. <laughs> I just heard about them, but they're using a, a lot for like warehouses or. Probably would be the same then on that one or the other one. I don't know what the specs on those are. I would think with the box one, you'd have to go bigger to get the same flow, though. You're going to get more turbulence in the square than you are around. I don't know. You probably get them different widths. Yeah, yeah there's some of them almost like a bridge. Mm, right. Mm. You know, like four or yeah, five feet. Yeah, they're huge. Yeah, they're doing those and they're making like concrete precast bridge panels. Mm. They, they use like waste blocks and you build your abutments and then you lay these right on. Stress panels. And yep. Done. yep. Like a parking garage. Yes. Yes. Exactly. We have built our house with those. You know how they go together? They square ones? You know? I think they, same idea, they either fit face to face or they may have a lid in a lap. Yeah, this is lapped. And then They'll use like a rubberized membrane sometimes on the outside to go over their joints also. And they sometimes they grout them in on the insides and outsides. And then grab them and What are the specs with regard to the compaction around those concrete um, pipes? Basically like any other. You, oh, okay. you, about every six inches. It's like he said, it's not like the plastic, you don't. Right. You need to get it so it ain't gonna change, mm -hmm. but right. you're not looking for strength there. The biggest thing is you don't have to have that perfect grading material. Mm -hmm. And especially in that road where it is wet, mm -hmm. when everything's saturated, you've lost strength. That's what, I mean, that ground's moving, so it could be perfect. Yep. And then come unseason when stuff moves, it's just all soft. Bowl of jelly, and then you step on it and it goes down. 
Sure. What about the driveway towers? One downhill when you first go in the soul's no throw. Yeah. The one on the right, completely gone. The driveway covers there. We did one. Alice is gonna change small Alice driveway is... cover. You mean Moulton's? I think it's right there. Moulton's is done. Yeah. We that ain't there another driveway. There's one that. at the there's another one at the barn that ain't been done. One we did one that, uh, the, he was a fireman. He's a fireman. That's Calvin Ames is we did that yeah. one. Yeah. Okay. But he's talking Al Alice Moulton's house, old house. We did that driveway and then but there's a second culvert for that barn, that's crushed. Well it's not crushed, it's completely rotted right, right out the top. Water going right over it. Yeah. So you're gonna need yeah. and down this what the hill is one. Oh, you got Nadine's. Uh, does Nadine have one? Yep. She's got to have one. Well, one of the is on the side. All right. The Jim Bennett and a few of them years ago, but something didn't use. Yeah, those ones there, I just want to steal them. Well, that's that damn few cost. Mm -hmm. that's... Yeah, the one just as you leave 23 on the left, that first house. Yeah. That, one, that one's completely gone. Half of it is. And the next one above it that goes into the trailer, yeah. there's two there. So you'd have to have them two. You're going to have to have half a dozen others. Do we even need, is that another spot where you really need a culvert? I questioned that one myself. I've trailer? never seen one of them. I'm just questioning. If you don't have it, it'll make a pond probably. But I mean, there's no dips there either, though. Really? It's I mean, you are a six inch schedule eight body PVC pipe would be better than a culvert, per se. Right, better than a pipe. Yes. Inch. Right. There's some steel up to the garage. Yes. I don't know. Kind of like that one down by. Yep. That's what that should have been. That should have been. Down by. Yes, that's exactly. Down way down. Yeah. Down yes. by uh, Mike's place. We replaced a culvert for that trailer. Brazes. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That should have been a six inch PVC. Yes. Or yeah, just an or iron similar. Pipe. Yeah. And Butch says we got some iron pipe up there. Yeah, that was yeah we did the eight inch one. And the whoever did it that day decided it had to be a big one. It sticks right out of the ground. They just put more gravel over it. It's like a mountain getting Two snowstorms, you're going to be plowing on top of that car. Yes, exactly. That's basically what I got. Did we get the number, the next number? Well, we're, we're, I think oh, okay. we're going to the now okay. the elevation, right? Yes. That was just for the columnists that are crossing the road. Now. Hello. To grind it. Right, I'm here to register my ATM. Uh, you can register it. Do you want it all broke down and just look at it? You just describe the steps and then one big number, I guess. Do you want Do you want me to go get a photocopy of it so that we can just run down through it? With Are them? you doing uh, grinding by the mile? How did you figure that? Square yard. How do we normally like if we hire somebody when we do paving? How do they? Is that by the? Don't they, don't they usually do that by the mile? I don't know. Or by the foot? I don't know either. I don't. I don't. I just so we can do a comparison. That's all. Right. I, yeah. I talked to Howard. He said all oh, this is. Backed on square yard because you got variable water widths. Mm -hmm. Right, and that may be how it's always. I, it I just maybe I, I don't can't know. Remember, Chris. Then five o'clock stay in kitchen. He said the same thing. Okay. okay. So, yep. I bet you're pretty close. It's, he yep. said there. Just want to make sure we're all on the same page. Right, right. That's all right. I Between a dollar and a dollar and a quarter a square yard is what Stan said. Um, Howard had pikes to a bunch on the, the airport in Augusta, and that was 90 cent, oh, 89 cents, but they're right out there on the time. Sure. So I figured 90 cents. Okay. And that would be going you know, probably eight inches, enough to take the asphalt. So you hit a rock if after that. If there's any gravel below it, yep. great. If, if it's a stone wall below it. It's just cleaning up the ground. That's it, yep. right. So, going from the south side of the Anderson Road intersection back towards Urban's driveway, 
in poll number 23 is 3,650 feet. So just to grind it, the 76,65, then compact it, grade it, be about 3,000. So that's an estimate on time there. Yep. So, I mean, Hit or miss. Right. It could be less, or it could be here more, and it all depends on. You still got your vibratory roller, right? Yeah. So, like 11 grand ish. Is that my. Yep. 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 Yeah. Pretty close. 65 yep. plus 3,000. Like yes. Yeah. That's. And, so that's and the, what are we doing beyond Urbex? That would be just. I'm just. All this is just for that one section. That one section that we that's talked about. That's one section because we're going to raise it. Okay. Right. Because uh, that's going to be the biggest chunk. And then if you decide to grade, don't grind any more. It's if we're going to pave, I want to grind. That's me. Right. And just because of what we've dealt with in the past. Seems like, it seems to me, and even, you know, if you follow, and I know it's not comparable because I didn't put enough hot top out to amount to anything, but if you would have looked at the avenue before they paved that, even though it was that thin skim coat, it wasn't even a month later. Every crack that was in that hot top before, uh, you've got every crack yeah. comes right up through that new pavement. No, no, no. no. It's because that was only two inches of binder. Yep. Last time they ground it and paved it. Rolling around to make Where was that? From Mary North. Correct. Yeah. Yeah. That only got two inches of binder when they ground it the last time. Right. So. But you get all that even from, say, once you go by me, when you go across the flat by Johnny's old place, where that's all wishy washy, if we don't grind that and grade that out, and add some material. And add a little bit there. I don't think it needs a super, but yeah. No. Enough to get it smoothed out and straight again. Right. The last piece there, I would. Some people suggest adding material and grinding it in. That's what I was just going to ask you. And that's what Brian did at the airport. He said he used two to four inch stone there. So there was nothing smaller than two inch in it. So you weren't adding fines. And you ground that in, and that'd be a good spot where it's only two inches of big pine nut, and everything else already been ground up. And, you know, you at least to get to that sinkhole that right. you build up. Yep. And that beefs that material up and right. that stone. Putting the stone in with it. Right. But you can't do that down the other way because there's so much yeah. Oh, shim in there, and, right. you'd never you'd never get through your hot top if you tried to do that. Right. Well, uh, below your place, Dale, well that in depth well, mm -hmm. if we're gonna spend this much money, wouldn't it be wise to build that up a foot? That's so. an awful dip there. And yeah, that's what he was just saying. That's what we're talking about. But I don't, you're not gonna be able to build that up a foot and then grind it. You're gonna have to grind no. it, then build it. Grind it, and then build it. You're gonna grind it first. Yeah. Yeah. So you're gonna put a patch on that. You don't know how much. Uh, I'll go a foot at it. So that's all soft underneath there, too. I take that yank out and go like two feet in the belly with it. Oh, yeah. I take it uh, If you have the money to spend it, it's, it would make it real. It's not great. I don't think it's that big of a place. I don't think you can spend that much money, eh? Yeah, it's like 400 feet. That's what I'm saying. And by the and time you tape it, that. Yeah. You take in a little mm -hmm. bit of that mm -hmm. section that was paved last time. But you may be able, I know Bob's got a ton of ledge right there, but I wonder if you couldn't do something in Bob's a little bit and get rid of some of that water. Or get out in the field and yeah. do some testing. And yeah. And he's probably... Bob would probably be fine with that. But that would help that road too. You could right. keep that water the hell away from there. You could fix it while you're right there. Right. So... Rather than after getting it up top. Because mm -hmm. once you get so what we just talked about, and then what we talked about from Anson up to Urban's, from there forward, the road itself, there's no more. I mean, that's just grind and pay. Right from Urban's driveway north. It's good. That should be a. The question would be that other two culverts that are. Yeah, the culverts need to be done, but but there's no more road work per se. Right, just be changing the driveway culverts. And Right. But all the numbers I got is just for that 3650. Yep. And that gives you a good idea on what mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. the rest would be. Yep. 
How much you gonna put on it, Bailey? It's like, oh, no. Gonna put one coat this year and... I don't think we're gonna be able to afford to do a binder and a top coat. Well, I, I, we, we'd probably have to go have another meeting. Correct. But you might put one coat. That, we, that would be our, our well, minimalist dream, dream, I guess. Right. <laughs> yeah. Two inches of binder. Put a binder on. Finally got an estimate today, and that's subject to change, <laughs> obviously. Just to do that whole section, would be about 114,000. What are they giving for a number per ton right now? So that was 120. That's all the way? That's not that. Bad, yeah. That was yeah, just what, about that. What did we pay ton last year? Do you remember? Mm -mm. I don't I, I'm, I thought it was going to be a lot more than that. I, I did too. That's what I'm saying. 120, that ain't bad. It's 120 a ton? That was as of a couple hours ago. Yeah. That was. That's fun. That was like no traffic control. That's. Yeah. That's material. Right. Light. Yeah. That's not bad. No, I mean, now, I mean, you put that number with your other number, and we've, we've really improved what is probably the worst road in Sangerville uh, immensely. <laughs> so, <laughs> so, but surface was, uh, he said a few dollars more, so I added five bucks to that. So you're talking like 118, 750, two inches of surface. I don't know what you did when you sang the call. If it was an inch or an inch and a half. It was an inch and a half. Inch and a half. Oh, so you yeah. That's kind of the, the two inch binder, inch Didn't and a half. Didn't we do that on McFeeders too? Yeah. I think we did binder yeah. and then an inch and a half. Yeah. That, yeah. Was, that was at 21 feet wide, which is what the surface is now. Okay. So, uh, right. Did you get this number from Stan? Yeah. yeah. Okay. What about the width? Remember, they got the East Angle Road too wide. Well, that's that number right there was at 21 feet. With the East Angle Road too, 22? Yeah. It was too wide. What stands availability? He's busy. Everybody's busy. Yeah. Yeah. He said that section he could probably work together. Yeah, but I don't want the section. Keep it posted. Do the road. Yeah, no, it, it, ideally, the, so, whoever does it is going to get the whole thing. Right. I mean, or get all the money we got. <laughs> so. so it depends on if you wanted to do that. So we, we just start there. You can go to the north end, or if you want to. So why don't we just reach out for bid paving right now for bid? And go from there and do more events work further down. What's your schedule on, on this first step? I'd like to say 1st of July. The culverts done or starting? Started. Um, it's going to be probably a month, three weeks to a month, if everything went well with the weather. And you're going to have to shut down that road every time you do a culvert. That would be good, at least. I think last time when they did it, it was like from seven to yeah, yeah. What, whatever. Yeah, so whatever you need basically to Basically, after the school bus. Right. Oh, yeah. the Honestly, again. well, Fourth no. of July. I mean, July. Yeah, we, we can shut the, the road. Can be shut. It's not. Summer, right. But either way, because this road shutting it down doesn't bother me at all, because you can drive around, and you're not talking that many people. The only people this is going to affect is the people that are through <laughs> people. Yeah. Hundred percent. Right. They're headed to bed. So, yeah. as far as I'm concerned, and I live on this road, and I'm sure others that live on the road. For this project, if you said that road is closed Monday through Friday, so you can get it done quicker, I think every resident would agree and be okay with that. Right. So it's whatever, in my opinion, whatever it takes to do it, to do it, get it done, and get it done right. During the gravel and all that, sure. Emergency vehicles can go no matter what. Correct. You yeah. speed the project up. Yep. Yeah. 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 It's, it's just doing the call that's a lot easier. If you yeah. Oh, the efficiency of it is just... Feel Probably personally, you're going to be the most impacted because you live on one end and you go to the <laughs> other end. Yeah. So you're you're actually the... Probably would be the most inconvenienced if we close the road. Out of all of us. Except he can fill a hole and just drive right over. <laughs> yeah. But I mean, you can... But you've got a cheap way to go through that I can't. So. I have a bypass. Right. Yeah. He already has a bypass, so I forgot about that. Right. I already own all the way from Townhouse to Anderson. Right. So he drives through Anderson. Oh, okay. All right. So, but well, seriously, I mean, I just think about that too. Um, 
Did, Chris, did you give us a number for the material building it up? Not yet. Okay, I didn't think so. I haven't scared you. Okay. Getting the crushed pledge out of Gordon contract, and he's switched over. He's got scales on his loader now, so everything's per ton. Roughly 1.35 ton to the yard is what he claims to test it out at. Whether it's certified legal scale, it is what it is. Yeah, that's how he's. That's how you buy it. Right. Um, right now, just the crushed material that wasn't screened. He says eleven dollars a ton, but for that mass amount, he'd probably knock a dollar, maybe two off. Move down by it. But at eleven bucks a ton, about forty-one hundred tons to go eight inches. Compacted. I figured 25 percent mm -hmm. compaction, so mm -hmm. obviously you would go higher. But that was taking that into account. So you sh in theory, should finish with eight inches. Just the materials, 45,100. Then that covers the Anderson, basically Anderson to Urban's. Yeah, That's that rough. Feet. Okay. Yeah. Yep. Then to truck it, place it, compact it, it's another 15, 580. And then You're trucking it. Right, right. No, that, that's my question. If, yeah, I, yeah. if I was doing it, mm -hmm. that's... Okay, so you're trucking it. Right, get that. Okay. 60 grand. 60. Yep. So then for two inch gravel, four inches on top of that, out of Garland. I call him before he doesn't have an inch and a half. He doesn't know if he would make an inch and a half this year because he's had, had enough time keeping up the two inch. But two inch is a lot more. Got to it with stone. Not for the brown good end of work. Too many fines. Yes. It's all the same. That's why the West Coast is garbage. But I mean, it passes the parking lot back. <laughs> I don't know, it has the state facts on, I know. Cause I, it has in the past, but it's pretty near all sand now. Well, they got quite a bunch of files from last year I was looking at, but that's all. But you write down and look at the file. Uh, at the end of the day, if you're the contractor that's doing yeah. this, yes. it's going to be your name on it. Yeah. Right. So it's, you need to, you, nothing against it, maybe that's right. good material, you go look at it, you want to use it, great. Yeah, that's if what I'm just saying. No, 100%, yep, but you need to remember that. Right. Well, it would save him some money. That's yep. all in the town, too. Yep. If it's, it's, if it's usable. Right, if it's good enough for what yep. he wants. It's, right, that's the thing. Every pit has different veins. You mm -hmm. can make it or break it. No, we've learned that it's, gravel ain't all gravel. No. Gravel ain't no different than sand. Right. It can sand ain't sand. Right. So... Of course, everything over there is based on the yard. Yep. Right now, nine dollars a yard loaded for two inch gravel, fifteen hundred and eighteen yards. I should have rounded up, but I didn't. Mm -hmm. uh, Thirteen thousand six sixty four and twenty five cents. That's just loaded on the truck. So my question, you just said that. That's actually cheaper than buying the crushed slate, right? Are you better off to just use crushed slate or do you burn it up in your fuel because you're traveling? That's what I thought. That's why I'm asking. I sat around the numbers and it was going to come out like three dollars more, I think. Okay. What's this stuff he's got out here on your shooting wheels? That crush. What's he doing now? It's plastic ledge. Run through a crusher down to four inch minus. And now Kelly's screening it. He's got four inch rock, two inch rock, well, two to four inch rock. Then he's got like inch and a half minus with all the fines in it. And then he's got the big oversized stuff. So nothing, none of that was anything to you? The four inch crushed material. Oh, yeah, Lord. that straight crushed ledge with the fines that'll bind in like concrete. And it all in a box, so right. So it's not. Yeah, right. Correct. 
So on that spongy road, it should hold better. And the gravel is just to help. Yep. Smooth it. Just, no, I, I was comparing numbers with Brian's inch and a half crushed material. That's what it was. That was going to come out more because that's like mm -hmm. 15 something a ton. Well, but it's more comparable product. Right. But I think that would be. I'd have to compare them side by side. Mm -hmm. But just for prepping it, the gravel's not as sharp, so it's not hard on everybody's tires and whatnot. But you go other places, that's all they have is crushed material, so. It works, but it was going to be more money unless it came down on the price a little. I mean, for me personally, I would drive around French's Mills the rest of the summer if that's what it took to make this the right project. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, well, I'm not worried about yeah. tires. We're not sure we're going to let you do that. Well, yeah. I know that, but I'm just saying, <laughs> when you're worried about putting material down because you're worried about somebody's tires, right. it is what it is. You know what I mean? Right. It's whatever's best for the road. It's an option. All right. Yeah. Am I an educated engineer? No. No. But. Yep. So I've got like, we're at 110 grand roughly yeah. to get, to do our that's before we put any binder on it. That's before trucking. Okay. That was twelve and a quarter he had. Well, that was trucking, placing it. Yeah. Rough grading and rolling. That was ninety five sixteen, thirty seven. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And then let's just keep it from being totally. Unbearable while you're doing it. I don't know exactly how long it would take to get it as close to perfect as possible before they pave, but I've estimated around 4,000 just for greater time and roller. To keep it smooth while the To get it mm -hmm. right there before they pave so it's not right. like mm. some of these villas. I said that's a guest. It's not set in stone. And then traffic control, flaggers, signs. I highballed the heck out of that with 10,000 because you never know. But the town's got signs, and if we're shutting it down, I don't need flaggers. Right. Mm -hmm. Or most of the time, it's not like. Route 23, and if somebody does come through, you can let through. So that, most of that could probably come out of the equation. That was just a number that Brian gave me, because he, he did a quick number of what he would do, and it was quite high, but he broke it down that way. And shoulder gravel after we pave, let's figure three inches out, at least two feet, taper into pretty much nothing. It's about $3,060 placed. So of all them numbers, I had 111585 55 cents. Roughly with two inches of surface and two inches of binder, that was another 232 and change. So. And then the price of the concrete and stuff, too. Hmm. The time of it, you know, you're still under 400, but that's only doing that piece to a T. Right, we say that to go from there to 23 is a grain cost and paper cost. Right. And a couple, couple. That's about the same distance again. Yeah. Uh, yeah. About half the money. I'm well, you wouldn't have any of the gravel work Correct. already. You just right. have the. You'd reclaim. Just reclaim and pave it. Right. Yeah. That would be reclaim, compact. Yeah. Grade, roll it yeah. in. And we don't have enough money to do all of it. Budgeted. Oh, I wouldn't be surprised, yeah. What do we have budgeted? 
Oh. Well, he gave you a pay price of paying buying the range off. Right. Yeah. It'd be around 600 just to, just to pave that two and a half miles. Binder and stuff. Right. Right. But if you did just binder. It's about 600. Yeah, 600. Yeah, I mean, I'd do binder there and continue on down to Brockways Mills yes. and do a little bit of that gravel work if they needed it. It wouldn't be as extensive. And at least get binder on that. The next year you'd be grinding two from Irvin's North. You could grind that, shape it, bind it, over the whole thing. Whole thing. I, I think that's, yeah. I, think that's I agree right. with you. Brockway is where you start and you go to Irving's. Right. Yeah. Just shot it. Yeah. Yeah. Both the as far as grinding and road work, but we still want to get those culverts from there right. down yep. this summer, so you're ready for yep. right. well, trench bay over them, get them ready for next year. Uh, if we got far enough ahead, we could have a special. Yep. But, I mean, that's a lot of work. That's a lot of work to get us to there. I'm, right. I'm not that optimistic, but no. Nope. Yes. Yeah. But I'd start with whichever section you wanted to start with to see how things went. Because if my grind blew up for Sure. Yeah. But yeah. Well, you're I, I understand you're saying that. It's just going to be a timing thing because your grinding price is pretty close to what everybody else is. Doing. Right. That's. So I mean, I've tried to hold my hourly rates down. No, I know. Below state rate, which I don't understand. It's like wow, that's gone up. So if I did run an excavator or something, then I'd be. Yep. Um, you, know, you can always hire trucks and you know that stuff. That's not as bad. I, I think uh, I th we haven't discussed this, but I, th I think going forward, we're probably going to work at having a contract on anything of this size. Right. So um, whatever we decide on, we should have him. Put it all together. Yeah. 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 Um, any other questions for him? Or no. Do we want to green light this today, or what do you guys want to do? Do you want to see an itemized the fire as the contract and have it itemized so you can look at it that way? Yeah. But I, my, I'm inclined to once we get that, I'm inclined to support prioritize from Brockway up to what Irving's and that's that would be the priority for this year and then prep beyond that's kind of the overall strategy mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. yeah. in theory how it's going to have a top plan next year what the price will be I who knows <laughs> you're going to do one the line road that's another project um so yeah, that I get with regard to this. Yeah. Uh, if you would put that, then then Lorna will send it all to us, and we'll. If, I guess we'd have to have a meeting to approve it. Actually, we actually Lorna can just spend the money if we if we sure. like the idea, right? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So that I think that's we're all in. I, I guess we're all yeah. in agreement that that's my understanding the, is the way, well you want to just yeah review the contract yeah but I think the understanding is is it's up to the contract that's supposed to provide the contract. Yes. Right. Yes. Okay. Yep. I'll need to get somebody to help me with that. Yep. That's, yeah, that's... Because the contract isn't to protect, it's obviously to protect you, not the town. More honestly, that's how it really yep. works. Yep. yep. Like, all the materials would be, let the town pay that direct. However you want so to, yeah. what you to prefer to do with that, so put that in the contract. Right. No, right, right, how right. Is, yep. You just got to verbiage it that way. No, yep. There's no sales tax. That's how it no all, that's what the contract's for. That's right. So it's all defined. What, yep. Whose responsibility yep. is what and what's expected on of both parties. And one thing, and you, uh, yeah, and you, I've never ever seen you or, or anybody you work with approach it this way, but I, we have run into this where, well, um, we did it. We didn't do it correctly because you didn't want to spend the money, or you. 
we right. don't. The we, town told me I was supposed to use X. <laughs> Dale said it at the beginning. Whatever you need to do to do this correctly is the way we want this approached. So we obviously we don't want to waste money on anything, right. but we have to do it right. right. So and I like I said, you've always done it that way. So. Child. Child. I live there. I don't want to put my name on it. Right. Well, that's, that's why right. I worded it the way I did. Because you have to drive that just as much as everybody else does. Yeah, I generally run it two or six times a day. <laughs> All right. Sometimes fifteen times mm -hmm. a day. Uh, one of the things we, that Dale and I, talked a little bit about. I, I'd be interested in your uh, is putting a weight limit on that road and the French's Mills Road. French's Mills Road is getting torn to pieces. Well, you said half the conversation. Mm -hmm. So we had the conversation about a weight limit. We also had the conversation about just making it no through tra truck traffic. Right. Which is better? What's the pros, cons of... I want to know the pros, cons of doing either. Monson put no through trucks on the North Kilford Monson Road and the yeah, Romantic right. Road mm -hmm. yeah. after the bridge was done in Abbott because that was the bypass. Right. Mm -hmm. So everybody knew that road then. Sure. Mm. And... No through trucks, well, we use gravel pit on the Guilford end, right on the Abbott Monson line of the North Guilford Monson Road. Well, if we go to Monson, well, we're not going through because we're starting from the pit and we'll go through. Right. It's not limiting everybody that's doing business on that road or going home or anything like that. Like I said, you're not pulling trucks out of coming down from Greenville, per se, when Dover was open, taking that shortcut, hiding from yep. BOT, coming down, hitting North Guilford, Guilford Center, Wharf Road. We got logging trucks coming through now. I don't know if they're headed to Lincoln or Howland or where they're, but there's a lot of full logging trucks mm -hmm. just flying up the French's Mills Road now, and I, it's not the best thing for the road, but I don't know where they're going. So but that's the turn. So the what's the disadvantage or advantage if you do it by weight? Then everybody that's doing any business on the road is in theory supposed to get permission. Phone call. So yeah, I mean, uh, residents. What about a resident? If you what if you had a, a rig and you lived on that road, you'd be, you'd still be allowed to go in and out. You're allowed to go home, anyways, right? Mm. You're allowed to go home empty. Yeah, and I'm saying it's always true. Yeah, true. to right. wherever that truck is registered. So you take everybody that drives somebody else's truck and they take it home at night empty, they're still in violation because that's not where the registration is. Right. Yeah, some of them shouldn't be doing it now. Right. What about a, a, a big a dump truck? It's like three axle dump truck. Is, is I, are those typically going to be over? Or? Oh, yeah. You're going to be around 60,000. Well, you can go 59.4 on a wheel, 10 wheel. What's uh, McFeeders? What's that weight at on that one? Do you remember, Joe? Yeah, I think so. 50. So technically, just a wheel is all the way, unless you all roll. Right. I mean, it allows UPS to go through. UPS, the oil trucks, that stuff. Yeah, I think it's I think there's an exception for fuel anyway. Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah. To a point. Just like found commodities, it's to a point. Mm. Don't abuse it. Mm. If you do, they want to come down on you. Hmm. I don't know. What's well, just something that we put all would, this money in this road? And oh, I would, I would at minimum myself personally, minimum I would like to see no through truck traffic on both of those roads. Would, what's that do though for Dexter? I mean, do we need any cooperation from them? I mean, you're halfway up the Silver's Mills Road, and now you've got to turn around. I would let Dexter know what we're going to do, and then they need to decide what they want to do. It's just over a mile. Yeah, I mean, Dexter can't say no. You can't do that. I, I don't but know. I, I, would I was... be... They probably wouldn't have much of an issue because they've done the same thing. They've posted some of their right. dirt roads right down to like thirty thousand because they were gone all to pieces in the spring right. and they left them that way. But they were short, dead end roads with very few residents on them. If, if we were going to do that and Dexter was in agreement, they would just run out and post the other end of theirs. Mm -hmm. yeah, 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 that, that might be perfect. But if they don't want to, it's right. just going to be an inconvenience. Who's coming? 
I mean, they're going to drive to the Sangamon line and find out they can't. They're going to turn around at the Dexter turnaround and have to go back. I can I can think of a few people that are located on Route Seven that would find that to be quite inconvenient. You, but if you do a weight limit, everything the same people are going to be affected and aren't going to be able to do it either. Yeah, I, that's true. So, but that's something. That's another discussion. But I, I think between now and when we're done your project. So we should make up our mind. <laughs> what about, do you think, uh, just because we've started the conversation, do we, should we have want to reach out to Dexter and let them know we are starting yeah, the conversation to see what their that, thought is on their I think to let Trampus know we're considering it. It would be interesting to know what their stance would be That's on it. That's a good idea. Yeah. Yeah. And then they're not surprising anybody. Mm -hmm. To see if they, and to see if, does, would it matter on their end? Would they rather see no through truck traffic or a weight limit? Or does it matter to them? And I've already talked to Trampus before regarding when the roads are posted, anyways. Okay. About the. Yeah, you just yeah. You make him aware we're, yeah. we're thinking about it because we're going to do our end of the road. And, you know, we've already fixed that portion that Harper Lane up to the farm and yeah. we really should protect it if we can. Yeah. That's held up. It has. Yeah. Mm. Same kind of strategy, really. Right. It Brought it up. Yep. 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 But I, Maybe I we ought to shoulder that at the same sure. time that you're doing this one. Yeah, yeah. I yeah. mean, with, yeah. while you're over there, but I mean, Some yeah. Of that I was thinking if we did pull it out the line road, put it back down there. Yeah. Fill that dangerous slope in. Yeah. yeah. Uh, so yeah, write it up and get it to Lorna, and I, I got a feeling gravel will be flying here pretty soon. Mm -hmm. Give me some more. Numbers on the south end then on. Yeah. Yep. To do there. Yeah. Like to review it. But and if you're worried about the whole thing being done, worst case, I mean, we at least get that culvert fixed down by Bob Brown's. I mean, that thing's a, that's a nightmare. Well, you, you stutter sideways. No matter how slow you go. <laughs> no. oh, it will, it's the pitch of the road and the sharpness. And 20 miles an hour, my Jeep is sending your eight sideways right in the road. Well, that's been a bump since I've been Ever. <laughs> Bob used to watch me go up through there when I was in high school and he was afraid he was going to fight me in the field. Because <laughs> yeah. I'd come up through there on a motorcycle, leaned right into it, yeah. oh, straighten it up, go across the culvert, lay it back <laughs> over, and just, hmm. just hope nobody's over. coming. Oh. Yeah. And he watched me every morning. <laughs> but then it's been changed since then. Mm. Yeah, on that last piece that got ground and paved, I said I'd Probably add like four or five inches of grinder right into that. Just because that got like two and a half inches, maybe, of three inch out of the brown pit when it was done. Blended in. Okay. Anything else? No. Mm -mm. No. Well, thanks very much for for meeting us today, and we'll. We'll advance this as quickly as we can. Uh, motion to adjourn. Second. Second. All in favor? It's five minutes of one, and we are.